Right, hello everybody. I've got uh, got a bit of an unboxing video at the moment. I can't say I'm very keen on unboxing videos, but anyway, this is it. We're going to unbox this radio. Don't worry though, I'll be doing some technical tests on it later, on another video, just in case you're getting the test equipment out and ready. Here we have it, a KPO DX5000 Plus, which is the very latest modern replacement for the popular CRT 6900 series, which uh, has been around for ages and everybody loves. This is supposed to be an update. This is version 7. So, let's see what we get. Open the box. I have not opened it. I don't know what is I'm in for. And then say so I shall I shall make some uh, some tests later with the uh, with the test equipment. Get get all the test equipment plugged in, and we will see what happens then. One box inside another box. Some kind of instructions. Are they going to be any? The new K provides this functions, warnings, reset, installation. I've actually had a copy of this before downloaded off the internet. Um, you can download this and you're wasting your time because it's I don't know what this this instructions cover but it doesn't cover this radio even though it says it does because straight away on the, the second page there's a picture of the, the rear of the radio and it shows on the back of it your sockets for your, your PA speaker or whatever those two sockets socket for an aerial socket for the power and it makes no mention of the rear little socket for programming it up because one of the features of this radio so I'm told is that you can program it up from a socket on the back you don't have to go inside but uh, we'll find out in a minute when we get to the radio rear bracket which I never ever use I never have what I do with these little um, radios I tend to use them in the house or in my workshop and I get four self-adhesive little rubber feet and stick them on the underside and this raises it up sufficiently for the sound to come out from the loudspeaker. Um, I think it's much nicer than using those untidy brackets. See what we've got here. Microphone bracket. Does anybody ever use these microphone brackets? <laughs> it's got a self adhesive pad the four little round screws for screwing the mobile mounting bracket little, uh, little KPO microphone very small they're quite nice those little fist mics really you got a uh, an up down button and an AQ whatever that is is that auto squelch I don't know I'll find out won't I it's only got a 4 pin plug hmm oh alright well power cord which will uh, no doubt be connecting up and the PS2 resistance the radio here we have the radio. Down there we hopefully we won't need that again. Yes, as as we said it's got the socket on the back. It looks like a USB socket, but I'm told it's not a USB socket, it's something else. So we cannot use a, a straight USB cord to program it up 
it's got to be something, uh, the right kind of cable. So I've been told, nice SO239, three pin connector. I like the heat sinks. That's, that's a new innovation to me because I've always had the very old style CB stuff, which never had heat sinks. And what have we got here? Well, we've got the, the, the clear film on the uh, display, which is always difficult to, uh, to peel off. I wish they put a tag on it. Some of them, some of the stuff I've got, they've got like a little tag and you pull it to peel the clear film off. But they haven't on this, so it's going to be a, a real fiddle to get that film off so that uh, I get a nice clear read out of the display. But well, that's it. Square buttons, it's, it's just the same as the other one really, isn't it? DX5000 power line. Um, so, what more can you say? It's, uh, it's, it's just the same as, uh, as all the, the other variants of this. Seal on the side, warranty seal, so we can't go in it without messing up the warranty. But we don't need to now, we can, uh, we can program it from this external socket, which is, is brilliant. So that's about all I can say about it, really. I shall, um, I shall get some power connected, I shall get the various bits and bobs of test equipment out, and uh, we'll see what it really performs like in the real world. Well, the real world on the test equipment, I still haven't got round to putting an aerial up. One day, I will put an aerial up, I promise you, but at the moment, the aerial is still in yet another cardboard box, stacked up amongst a mountain of cardboard boxes <laughs> in my house. So, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them, but say the next job will be to get some power on it, and, uh, and see how we program it up. I've got the programming card, I've got the version 7 programming software all ready and ready to go, so we'll see how it programs up in comparison with programming up other radios. So, thank you very much for watching my little video.